Without much publicity, Ukraine has created and employed its own guided artillery rocket with a greater range and larger warhead than the well-regarded guided multiple launch rocket systems, GMLRS, supplied by the U.S. and its allies. This rocket is known as the Vilka-M. The use of the Vilka-M rocket was questioned when the occupied city of Mariupol, located about 50 miles away from the nearest Ukrainian units at that time, was attacked on consecutive nights. While it is possible that GMLRS were used in the attacks, it is also possible that the Vilka-M was used, but Vinik did not provide any information on that matter. He only confirmed during the U.S.-Ukraine Security Dialogue 15th Conference held at the National Press Club in Washington that the Vilka-M rocket has been used in combat. It was used by the Ukrainian military for the first time in May 2022. However, he did not reveal the exact location where the missiles were deployed. So, what is Vilka-M? For months, Ukraine has been requesting the Army Tactical Missile System from the U.S., a long-range missile used by the HIMARS manufactured by Lockheed Martin. However, the U.S. has been withholding longer-range missiles from Ukraine, as they fear it could escalate the conflict. The U.S. has claimed that Ukraine has access to other long-range weapons such as unmanned aerial vehicles and precision weapons converted from air-to-surface bombs. This has caused Ukraine to reconsider its Vilka-M missile system, which is an indigenous guided artillery missile with a longer range and a larger warhead. Ukraine's Vilka-M missile is originally an improved version of the Soviet BM-30 Smirch MLRS artillery rocket. The Ukrainian military asserts that the Vilka-M has exceptional accuracy when targeting. The GMLRS munitions that Ukraine received, which are launched from the M142 HIMARS, and the M270 NLRS have a range of approximately 50 miles and a warhead of 227 mm and 200 pounds. In contrast, the Vilka M rocket, which measures 25 feet in length, has a longer range of 68 miles with a larger 300 mm warhead weighing 485 pounds. Despite being produced in limited quantities thus far, the Vilka M provides Ukraine with ammunition that can hit targets 36% farther away than the GMLR is currently in use and has more than twice the payload. Therefore, it is capable of striking targets with precision and causing more damage than the GMLRS. This information was shared by the first deputy head of the National Association of Ukrainian Defense Industries, Ivan Vinik, as reported by the War Zone. Vinik explained that the missile's precision is increased by gas rudders, which are numerous small holes that emit propellant, guiding the missile towards its target using GPS. Although it is claimed that the Vilka M rocket is quite precise, the precise level of accuracy is currently unknown. Also, despite being an improved version, the new Vilka M variant would still have a range that is less than half of the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, short range ballistic missiles produced by the U.S., which can target objects up to 200 miles away. However, the U.S. has refused to provide ATACMS to Ukraine, and Vinik believes that the modified Vilka M is better than the munitions currently available to Ukraine. The Vilka-M was developed as part of a program to improve Ukrainian weaponry that started in 2018 after the invasion of Crimea. The missile was developed by Kyivsko Constructorsko Bureau Luch, a state-owned company. The missile body production line was set up at the Artem facility in Kyiv in November 2017 and included the installation of a high-precision component manufacturing machine. The CNC rolling machine RFFM 330 to 138 300 from the Turkish company Rukin. In 2020, Mustafa Nayem, the Deputy General Director of Ukrabaran Prom, who posted the information about Vilka Enem on social media, and at the same time, the Ukrainian army announced on Facebook that it was conducting thorough testing of the Vilka M technology. In April of that year, the director of the Pavlograd chemical plant, Leonid Shimon, made a statement that Ukraine's Vilka-M multiple rocket launcher had the potential to be used as a means of retaliation against Russia in the event of an offensive launched by Russia. According to the Ukrainian media outlet Sensor, Shimon stated that if Ukraine's Vilka-M multiple rocket launcher were to be used to target critical Russian infrastructure facilities, 
such as Kamensky located near the Ukrainian border and Kamensk Shaktinsky, Rostov region, then Putin would hesitate to attack Ukraine again or shell its cities. Modification to increase range. It has been difficult to determine how much Ukraine is developing and deploying their own long-range precision weapons. Some speculate they may have revived their previous ballistic missile program. However, the existence of the Vilka-M is proof that Ukraine is actively working on developing their own long-range, powerful weapons despite facing constant attacks. Although they are currently limited in number, it demonstrates Ukraine's capability and determination to bring their own weapons to the fight. As stated by Vinik, since the modification program for the Vilka-M rocket began in 2018, there are approximately 100 units of missiles have been manufactured. He stated that there are plans to increase the Vilkom's range to approximately 93 miles. The enhanced Vilka-M will have a range comparable to the recently approved ground-launched small-diameter bomb that the U.S. allowed to be used in Ukraine. But it will have a considerably larger warhead and greater kinetic power. This upgraded variant would be able to target hardened structures that the GLDSB and GNLRS cannot destroy, such as bridges, large structures, and other heavy fortifications. Even though Vinik stated that plans are underway to increase the range of the Vilka-M to 93 miles, but he did not disclose when the longer range variants would be available or how many would be produced. Vinik noted that this new version could be ready in time for the counter-offensive anticipated by Ukraine, but it would not be tested before being used in a real battle. He also suggested that they might be ready for deployment during the anticipated counter-offensive in the south towards the Azov Sea, without specifying a date. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.